As soon as the Earth is cut in half, almost all living creatures will come to an end. An apocalypse will begin, which has not been shown in movies. The atmosphere is damaged, the magnetic field will change, and the planet's landscape completely alters. But the planet will be completely renewed, and life, like a phoenix, will be reborn from the ashes. A super powerful laser would be needed to separate the planet. Such a laser has to receive energy directly from the sun. The weapon goes into space on a rocket, thousands of miles above our world. Then, once the laser arrives at its destination, it opens wide to expose plates of solar panels. The laser absorbs and concentrates the sun's rays. Then a powerful energy beam with the diameter of several cities shoots into the middle of the planet. Oceans through which the beam passes boil and evaporate from the high temperature. These vapors turn into a vast thundercloud in the sky. A strong wind drives these clouds over the continents. Heavy rain falls, which floods not only cities, but entire countries. As the tectonic plates shift, tsunamis are created. Huge waves crash onto the shore. The Earth is split in two. And this is just the beginning. The structure of the Earth, or rather, each half of it, is changing. Strong earthquakes occur all over the world. The worst disasters happen near the fault line. Billions of tons of ground are smashed. Massive landslides drag entire cities below. Chunks of land, thousands of miles in size, shoot away from our planet. All living creatures on these pieces of land fly into outer space. Other broken pieces of the planet land on the half that is closest to them. Imagine a huge rock the size of a whole city falling from the sky, and there will be hundreds or thousands of such stones. Those who live far from the cut site have a chance to survive. But even there, earthquakes will destroy houses. The moon will also start to throw off pieces from itself. These pieces, like a meteor shower, will fall onto the earth halves and create massive explosions. These explosions will create fires. The skies will be covered with ash, and until it settles, we won't be able to see the sun. Both parts of the planet are drifting away from each other. The red-hot heart of our Earth is right in the center between the two. This is the Earth's core, consisting of molten metals. Each half of the core exudes energy comparable to a star. Between the two parts of the planet, a layer of such hot space is created that nothing can survive there. Any item that falls into this space immediately turns into ashes. The mass of the core is much larger than the ground mass, so there's a higher level of gravity. The core sucks in everything that comes close. You can't travel from one part of the Earth to the other. The core's gravity attracts any shuttle. Each half of the Earth now lives on its own. Typically, the core inside our planet rotates and creates the Earth's magnetic field. This field is a shield that protects us from the sun and space. If the shield is damaged, solar and cosmic radiation passes through the atmosphere. Because the core is divided into two parts, the Earth's magnetic field becomes unstable. Power outages begin in both parts of the planet. Microwaves, TVs, kettles, traffic lights, computers, everything is broken. The screen of your laptop or phone starts turning on and off. The video may freeze and the battery runs out and charges in one second. Satellites stop working, which means there will be no more GPS. High frequency radio waves used for communication stop working, which means you can't make calls and send texts. In fact, all power plants may sink underground or be flooded because of the earthquakes, so there might not be electricity at all. Some people are sensitive to solar storms and experience severe headaches. When the magnetic field is damaged, the surviving people and animals will suffer from severe migraines. Scientists will have to invent special helmets to protect people from the sun. For full protection, people will have to live in underground cities. Compass needles no longer point north. They just spin in different directions. The birds go mad. They don't know where to fly to wait out the winter. 
because the South no longer exists for them. All animals stop migrating. In the sky, planes can't navigate. Plants and flowers can't grow naturally thanks to the increased radiation from the sun. Livestock are poorly fed. The quality of products deteriorates. There's famine. The main goal for people on each half of the planet is survival. In some places, closer to the fault, the Earth's atmosphere is completely damaged. The conditions there will be similar to those in space. There is no air or heat. Only in a spacesuit can you stay in this territory. Unfortunately, you won't be able to jump and fly because gravity still works. Besides, it's gravity that becomes the salvation of our planet. Both parts of the Earth won't fly away from each other because of the force of gravity. Instead, they will rotate and start to attract each other. In a hundred thousand years, both parts of the planet will reconnect once more, and the Earth will be completely renewed. Since the core is molten metal, it will return to a single heart. But it will take much longer to connect the solid rock of the halves. A scar forms along the entire fault. The scar will be overgrown with forests and flooded with oceans, but there will be strong earthquakes in some places near this scar. By this time, all living things have probably disappeared. On our planet, conditions are about the same as 4.5 billion years ago. Seas and oceans boil, lightning strikes everywhere, tectonic plates change their shape, and lava flows from volcanoes in a rapid stream. The Earth looks like a vast boiling pot, inside which life is gradually created. Because the Earth has decreased in size and the core hasn't changed much, the gravity will be different. On land, it will be more difficult for an ordinary person to walk. They will weigh much more. In such conditions, new, previously unknown life will be created. Today, the world's atmosphere and oceans are polluted. The population is increasing, and glaciers are melting. In the future, things could be much worse for our planet. In a thousand years, when humanity has mastered space travel, we may decide to change our residence. We'll start looking for other Earth-like planets, and maybe we'll find something. However, nothing compares to our first home, and humanity decides to cure it. Perhaps we'll come up with the idea to divide the planet in half and live on one side. And after a hundred thousand years, we can come back to a new healthy home. What if you divide other planets? Since they don't have a magnetic field, they won't be as affected. For example, Venus and Mars have no seas, oceans, or lakes. Some scientists think they're entirely dried up because the magnetic field has disappeared there. This led to the complete destruction of the atmospheres of these planets the solar wind blew across their surface with such force that it dried up all the liquid. The Earth's atmosphere reflects this wind, so thankfully, we're safe. There would be no significant cataclysms on other planets, except for earthquakes. Like Earth, the two parts of each world would simply rotate until they reconnect once more. <laughs>